Mary Magdalene, a Historical Humans production. Here at Historical Humans, we tend to look at the history of the human race. Unfortunately, much of the time we examine only the events of history, and that means sometimes we forget that everything we talk about begins and ends with real human beings. These are the people that shaped history for better and for the worse. One such person was Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene is among the most controversial and mysterious figures of Christianity. She has been born, altered, invented, and reincarnated countless times throughout the two millennia after her death. Even her name, Mary Magdalene, is a reinvention. In her lifetime, she would have been known as Miriam, the Hebrew equivalent of the name Mary of Magdala, a town approximately 100 miles from Jerusalem in which Miriam held. Let us now meet Miriam of Magdala as apostle, saint, prostitute, and wife of the Lord. Of all of the women depicted in the Biblical Gospels, Mary Magdalene is one which has strong basis in historical fact. She appears consistently throughout all four Gospels and witnesses a number of key events in the life of Christ. This occurs in instances where she would serve little or no allegorical purpose and that indicates that her inclusion at these instances is reflective of the presence of a real historical person. In the Gospel of Luke, she is named not only as a disciple of Jesus, but as one who provided significant material support to his ministry. All four Gospels agree that Magdalene was present at the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. In the Gospels of both Mark and John, it is to Mary Magdalene alone that Jesus first appears following his resurrection. The appearance of Christ following his resurrection was used as an indication of divine favor and lent authority to those who witnessed his appearance as leaders of early Christian community and faith. This biblical association of Mary Magdalene with the source of divine authority and as a figure explicitly favored by it, places her in a position of religious authority on par of that of such prominent figures as St. Peter, the man who could serve as the foundation of the early Catholic Church. Today, Mary Magdalene is a saint amongst Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, Lutheran, and Anglican churches. Her feast day is celebrated on July 22nd. She serves as an incredibly diverse patron saint, taking under her charge such things as contemplation, converts, glove makers, hairdressers, the repentant, the pious, perfumeries, pharmacists, tanners, sexual temptation, and women. However, not all of Magdalene's reincarnations paint her in a positive light. The most enduring and popular image of Mary Magdalene is as a prostitute who was reformed into a religious disciple by Jesus. This association of Magdalene with prostitution has no basis in biblical scripture and was the result of a late 6th century conflation of her with several other biblical figures. Pope Gregory I first associated Mary Magdalene with prostitution when he delivered a sermon in the year 591 equating her and Mary of Bethany with an anonymous hair washer and a sinner from Luke 7 and a woman caught in the act of adultery in John 7 of the Bible. Since this sermon, Mary Magdalene has become known as the prostitute who gave up her ways to follow Jesus. It is a widely understood that this was an effort by the church to undermine Magdalene's authority and tarnish her image for the sake of enforcing gender norms and preserving male authority within the church. This incarnation of Mary Magdalene was ultimately recanted by the Catholic Church in 1969. The Second Vatican Council removed the title of prostitute from Mary Magdalene upon its review of biblical scriptures, which indicated that the Marys conflated in Pope Gregory's sermon were in fact separate people. This popular incarnation of Mary Magdalene as a prostitute has been utilized for the sake of almsgiving and charitable aid. The Magdalene community, founded in 1997 in Nashville, Tennessee, draws inspiration from this incarnation of Mary Magdalene in its efforts to help women recover from drugs, prostitution, and abuse. Another incarnation of Mary Magdalene exists outside the biblical canon in the Gnostic Gospels such as the Gospel of Mary. The Gospel of Mary is a Gnostic gospel that was not incorporated into the Bible and was rejected in its teachings by the early Christian church. In the Gospel of Mary, Mary Magdalene is presented as an apostle of Jesus whose claims of having witnessed the divine resurrection of Christ were called into question. This among other things, the early church found heretical in its rejection of the gospel. Dan Brown's The Da Vinci Code took the idea of Mary as a repressed apostle of Jesus and ran with it alongside the notion that she was the wife of Christ 
and other dramatic flourishes taken from speculative musings of theologians about the fate of Mary Magdalene following the death and resurrection of Christ. These speculations include that Magdalene was pregnant with the child of Christ and fled to France to found the Merovian line of kings, that Magdalene traveled to the city of Ephesus in what is now Turkey with the mother of Christ to live out their days there, or that Magdalene went with Lazarus to live in a cave in France for 30 years to be buried at the chapel of Saint Maximin in the Aix-en-Provence in the southeast of France. Both the Gnostic and Biblical Gospels give no indication of any of these outcomes for Magdalene's life, yet each one continues to closely orbit the image of Mary Magdalene. And there we have Mary Magdalene, the apostle, the saint, the prostitute, the wife of Jesus. She was the woman who first saw the resurrection of Christ and served as both a holy figure and a damnable one for the early Christian church. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like. If there's a topic you would like to see us cover, please let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And please be sure to check out all of our social medias listed down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.